Yeah, hi everybody, my name's Donna Greaves and I'm a foster carer for Liverpool City Council. I've been a foster carer for over 10 years now and for the first five years of that I was with an independent fostering agency. Um, so it's completely different and I changed over about five years ago. And the, the main reason I did that was because initially um, the training with independent uh, foster agencies was, was really, really good. And the local authorities, it wasn't quite the same, but I'm pleased to say that's had a massive turnaround with the investment that's taken place. And um, the fostering training that you will receive is, is second to none. It's absolutely brilliant. It will stand you in good stead. I'd always thought about fostering. I worked for the police for quite a long time. And so the project I was working on um, in Nosley allowed me to actually find out the backstory and the story of the child and the circumstances of why children come into care. And, you know, it really opened my eyes and it made me want to become a foster carer, which I eventually went on to, to do. With children, I think one of the things really to sort of hammer home is um, we're boring and it's great to be boring because us boring folk have routines and boundaries and uh, we say what we mean, we mean what we say. And if you do that, if you have got a child that comes into, into foster care and they've been living in this life that's sort of absolutely spinning around this way, our lives are like this. And then when they come to live with us, it completely flips. Um, routines and boundaries just go so, so far towards stabilising the child. Yeah. Just the routine things, when you get that covered, then you start to really blossom and thrive and you start to see the little personalities come out. And it can be literally just as much as, 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 as I say, you know, picking your own clothes and taking pride in your appearance, which then transpires into wanting to play football and being an active member of the team and participating in things in, in class. Because very often with our children, when they do come to us, they've been really, you know, excluded not in a sort of um, educational sense, but they've withdrawn. And a lot of the time they're, they're, not, um, they're not participating in things. So just to see them thrive and to blossom, that is probably one of the best things as a foster carer that, that you can see.